at that over and over again, but pay close attention to that gold. Laurence Vincent Lapointe from Trois-Rivières, Quebec, gold medalist yesterday in the C1 200 meter canoe, an incredible sprint, won by more than two seconds. The win, extra special because it's the very first gold medal ever awarded in this event at a Pan Am Games. She's been up answering social media messages from friends most of the night, but Laurence is with us this morning in our studio, and congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming in. Let's see that first ever medal. We'll get a close-up of that. We love mm -hmm. to show it to people watching at home. It looks so good around your neck. How does that feel? It feels really, really good. I mean, like, as you said, the first time ever to have this this medal in a, this event ever in Pan Am. So I'm Making like, history. Yeah, I, mean, that's I feel very lucky and to have had the chance to do that in Canada, that's like very special to me. Well, lucky, but you should be proud. Watch this with me. One of the most fun things about doing the show in the morning is that a lot of many of the athletes haven't seen their competition, so we get to watch it together. So we're going to start right from the beginning. You had, how were the weather conditions for you as you started your race? Uh, it was it, it was a bit hard, like even if there was no rain, actually rain doesn't matter, but like you see the the wind comes from front. Okay. Oh yeah, and headwinds. So, okay. Yes. So I had the. Uh, I. It took me like I could have done three seconds faster if really? there was none, no wind. But, but you're pad you look to be paddling so well. What is it? Put us in that boat with you. That is must be. You're just flying down there. You're just pounding along. Um, well, actually, during the race, I thought like the Equatorian was much closer. I felt like she was really, really close to me because I could see Out of a bit. Side? Uh, and so I, w I knew she could finish really, really fast. I, so I didn't want to get catch up. So I just gave all I had <laughs> to make sure she would not catch up. But and in the end, look at the gap. Yeah. I mean, you're way ahead. Actually, I really thought she was close <laughs> the whole time. So that drives you on. <laughs> and there it is. There's the gold medal race. Can you hear anybody from the side? Because I know, like, you had family members there. Yeah, yeah. Can you well, I could. After that, I could hear my dad because he really? has this, a very special sound for me. But like. So uh, your dad yeah. was there and you could hear yeah. him as you made history. That is just incredible. We're going to show the medal ceremony as well. Your arm is raised in victory, but this is not the first time you've been on the top of the podium. <laughs> Laurence is absolutely the best in her sport in the world in the C1-200. So you're used to being on top of the podium. World champion every year, except one since the event became part of the world championship yeah. circuit. Uh, and here you are. That's pretty, uh, how's yeah. that? special I, to see yeah it's really special because yeah. usually like even if i've been on the podium already like you know when you win in, in an international race and like other countries they're like okay well you did great but like yeah congrats you did great. right here it was like everybody was really proud so i felt like I felt really Isn't congratulated on my podium. I was like, wow, I'm so lucky. Isn't that terrific? So, yes, I was really so happy. So first ever Pan Am medal. Then, of course, the question becomes, what's next for the sport? Because this is not a sport that's part of the Olympic program. Why yes. not? Uh, actually, I, I think it's a kind of old mindset. Uh, before, it was believed that women should not be uh, paddling. It was wrong for the body you couldn't have children after that but it, it's been proven wrong many many times already you've had like many uh paddlers women's paddlers and they all have families and so it's it's not true Old and, thinking for the ioc yes. but now you've been fighting for years to get it included on the program and what are you finding are they open to to that uh well they have yeah they are open the only thing is uh it will depend on if the consider we have a high level enough uh of oh. women's of and enough women paddling too so. that's right they always have to have a certain percentage of or global participation in the sport mm -hmm. before they put it on an Olympic program. Because as you talk, it's interesting, I think we have some, some archives. When you say the damage to women's bodies, those are the kinds of arguments that the women's ski jumping team heard for a long time mm -hmm. before that was included on an Olympic program. There were a you know, Canadian wrestler who fought for a long time to get women's wrestling yeah. on the program. So you're very much sort of a, a pioneer, but trying to you know push the sport at the same time, aren't you? Uh, yeah, well, what I'm trying mostly to do, because I mean, as an athlete, sometimes you have time to do your to do like uh, PR, right. but most of the time you like you have studies, you have training, and you you just like focus a lot on on your sport. So what I'm trying to do more is like just to prove that we can do it great and just be like the best. So I 
keep doing it every time, every year, improving so that people will see women can be strong in canoeing. Well, you certainly yes. are showing that with every single race. The thing is, if they are open to it, we know it wouldn't happen in time for Rio next year. So that would make 2020 mm -hmm. and Tokyo. Will you be still competing at the level you are five years out? Um, I, I really hope so. I mean, unless they tell me that uh, Olympics are not to be in 2020 for us, uh, I think I would, I will, yeah, I will try because peak age for us is about late 20s and I will be 28 by then, so it should be fine. Medical school can wait because I know that's also part of the plan. Uh, no, actually, I will do both at the same oh, time. Oh, my goodness. Go for the best in the world and a medical de degree as well. Why not? Yes. You're such an achiever already. Listen, Laurence, thank you so much for the time this morning. Congratulations on that medal and good luck with the fight to get your sport included at the Olympic Games. Thank you very thank much. Thank you.